welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. So, hope you enjoyed that visit in Pennon, Gardenstown, Crovey. Great little bit of the Moray Coast. So, our journey continues. We've still got another couple of films, and today we're going to ride right along to Fraserburgh, Peterhead, and we'll camp tonight at a campsite at Cruden Bay. And we've got a few places to visit on the way, obviously. So, uh, yeah, come along for the ride. away from the, the steep roads and cliffs um, on the coast here it's actually quite flat and um, we've got a couple of uh, wee villages we'll come up through Rose Hart is one of them before we get to uh, Fraserburgh but it's nice up here I imagine it's really windy in winter though It'd be cold too <laughs> but yeah it was not bad today Here at Rose Harty, once again, it's like all these villages and small towns along the coast here, working towns, very clean and tidy. Lovely stonework on the buildings and stuff, and a working harbour. Here once again, like I've seen before, two place names and what you'd probably think is the wrong what lose the one place. A bit like what we've got with Kakenzie and Port Seaton and East Lothian back home. But I'm enjoying this up here, it's good, good roads, really good condition. Yeah, look at all the potholes we've got back home. This these roads are fantastic. And I know it's the end of the tourist season, but it is still September here. It's empty, absolutely empty. I could have, I could have had a better three days than this. Absolutely amazing. This is what I wanted. Just get away, revisit places I've been several times. Uh, 
and yeah, just enjoy being on my bike. But I've never been down to this beach here, so uh, it's an even. So I thought we'd get down for the look. If it means a walk up the dune, just to soak it up. But I've somehow missed this set of beaches, this beach here when I've been on my fat bike when I had the car. I don't know how I missed this one. Um, let's go up for a look anyway. Good to see bins at car parks, and you do notice up here the lack of litter. Um, people that respect where they live, and uh, it's beauty. It's good to see. What a cracking beach! We'll come back up here with the fat bikes when we're up with the van in the winter for a play, definitely. Be a good wee explore along here. About to be some uh, pillbox stuff as well here. So on we go back onto these brilliant roads and we'll soon be rolling into the big old town of Fraserburgh, a proper working town, some big boats, um, I do like Fraserburgh. That's a naughty radar, uh, tell me to slow down. This place seems to have suffered the 20 mile an hour nonsense that everywhere else now has in Scotland. Um, fair enough if there's uh, school crossings and stuff like that, or you know, a lot of people, pedestrians, but a lot of the time it's nonsense. Anyway, quick scoot around the harbour here and we'll get back onto the coast road. The size of that ship and the boat and the yard and the building, sorry. Look at the size of the building, it's massive. Impressive though. There is a bridge here, um, but it's up, so I'll need a U turn and go back because this would took me to uh, continue along the seafront. That's a shame, no matter though. Some big trawlers there. There's usually bigger trawlers along at Peterhead as well as the North Sea oil stuff. Yeah, big boats. Cool.
near Peterhead, the old prison. It's a museum now. I don't think it's open today, but I know they want to go around the prison. Ooh, creepy. We're nearly at Cruden Bay and I'm just pull out this car park because you can just make out on the skyline Slane's Castle and um, you used to be able to drive right down to it on a track obviously they've um, probably post-Covid they go out of order with folk going down there camping and litter and stuff I don't know um, but it's getting on, I want to get my tent up because there's forecasted rain so I'm going to head back down and come back up here in the morning to go and have a look at the castle. Um, so yeah, down to Cruden Bay, down to the campsite, get set up, tent, get some food because I'm getting hungry. So it would prove a good idea to have got down to this campsite at the back of six and got my tent up as it absolutely poured down after about 8pm but by that time I was snug as a bug in a rug in my tent and uh, I was off to, off to sleep really early probably about 9 o'clock and the next morning I woke up to the sunlight and a tent covered in leaves as you can see it was a wild night um, so anyway porridge on, coffee tent packed and back on the road I'm going to head up to Slane's before it gets busy with day visitors, if there is any, but I'm there'll be dog walkers and stuff out. Um, but I'm looking forward to going back here. So, Slane's Castle is famous, of course. Bram Stoker, while staying at Cruden Bay, penned a lot of Dracula here, and Slane's Castle was used in his book. So, we can't ride the bike down there, however, we've got a Royal Enfield and it's a time travel bike. So, we can just jump through time and go where we want, can't we? So, with a flick of the switch, let's time travel across the fields there, Slane's Castle. Go! Here you go. How did I do that? How did I manage my bike? From the main road across the here, eh? Well, I did. So there's a walkway from Cruden Bay to here, pathway along the top. But what a ruin it is! Fantastic. We'll get some pictures. You can imagine a, a moonlight evening with the wind howling here, the waves battering on the shoreline. Uh, very atmospheric it would be. And you can see why Bram Stoker imagination would be stoked uh, writing a book about vampires up here. Fantastic. But yeah, what a building. And great it's actually unrestored. Everybody thinks it would be cool to see it restored, but Sometimes some things are best left. Yeah. Right, let's hit the road. We've got loads more to see today. So, we've time travelled back to the car park. Imagine that, eh? What a magic little bike. Off we go. The scenery up here is nice with all the farmland and it's great it's still harvest colours. And there's a field there unharvested and that looks like oats. Yeah it is. Um yeah, good, nice.
So this is day three, of course, of our three-day trip, Thursday. And I'm making my way down to Stonehaven now. And I'm meeting, meeting Mark about 11 o'clock, I think we said. Um, I'll probably be there a bit before him. But that's fine. We'll get ourselves a coffee and then he's going to guide me down to Montrose. So he says he knows I've been there before with his van and fish bikes and stuff. But he says he's got a few things he'll show me. Now look at the size of this field on the right. It's massive. Look at that. It's like any sodium field. And they've also got big combines down here looking at the, the gaps between the hay lines and the straw. Like 40 footers. Anyway, let's crack on. Brilliant roads, aren't they? Absolutely brilliant. This is a, one of the things that have made this trip, is the road conditions. Brilliant. Hats off to Mori, Coast, like the council, whatever. Brilliant. A wee village down here of a harbour called Cransdale, which I've never been to before. Uh, so let's go for a wee look. now is we're just above Newborough where we've been before um, remember the beach with the big uh, the fences with the salt tower flag painted on it and the big nine mile beach to Aberdeen so this is just before all that um, yeah nice though Lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Imagine there'll be retirement and Airbnbs now, most of the houses. That's the way it is now. Anyway, there's a little harbour, so we'll go across and look at it. Morning. It's lovely here, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. So after coming along the main road on Cruden Bay, I'm heading back along the coast, basically parallel with the way we came down, just exploring. Uh, so we're kind of up doing a loop to get back on. To the main drag again. But it's worth going along with these back roads because you don't know what you can come across. But yeah, nice. Combine work's not finished yet up here. It's a good month later to harvest here than the Slovian. Um, so we're going to head across Newborough, it's Newborough, the water over this causeway here, and then we're heading for Stonehaven.
Okay, so we're nearly at the end of this film. Uh, we're heading down, enjoying the last few miles of quieter roads as we're approaching Aberdeen. So I'm not going to bother filming going through Aberdeen with that cities. Ooh, oh well, needs a necessary evil. Need to get through there to go to Stonehaven. So catch me in the final film, other side of Aberdeen, heading to Stonehaven to meet Mark. So thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed this, leave a comment and like, I try and always get back to you folk. Thanks again and bye for now.